Your city is built on passion, resilience, and determination. Our city has no boundaries and is represented by an army called Cowboys Nation. When you come at our city, you better be ready to fight. Cowboys Nation, it's time for battle. Are you ready? Here they are, under the leadership of head coach Mike McCarthy, your 2022 Dallas Cowboys. And give it up for your host for this evening's kickoff, Cowboys legend and NFL Hall of Famer, the playmaker, number 88, Michael Irvin. Cowboys Nation. Welcome to the Dallas Cowboys 2022 season kickoff presented by Blockchain. Guys, it's so good to be home tonight. Our right, guys, our team, they look great, huh? Yeah. Guys got a chance to look at them? You know, each week my job is actually to walk in those cowboy hating infested waters on TV. Everybody always hating. It just feels good to be amongst family. You know what I'm saying? Right. Coach, what's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Hey, this is the start of the biggest season yet. And we're going to meet the team, show some big love with some special awards. Let me tell you something, guys. We are ready. Forget what all of those cowboy hating, shark infested people are saying. We are ready. We got what we need. We got undeniable talent. We got experience and leadership at every position. And we got a quarterback who hips don't lie. Hey, and, 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 and I'm not worried. Dak will take care of everything. Dak and his hips will take care of everything on offense. And on defense, oh, my God. Y'all saw this last year. Y'all saw this young dude come out, man. I don't think there's, there's not anything this young dude cannot do. I watch him track down and take down running backs, knock down passes, and to the tune of 13 and a half, he times he got to the quarterback, I said to myself, we are blessed. We have fallen upon a great athlete. There's nothing in the world that Michael Parson cannot do. <laughs> Maybe there's one thing. We don't have to worry about the stars coming to get him. You know what I'm saying? We're good. We'll, we'll keep him right here, so we're good with that. We're looking forward to a big season. These 80 men up here are dedicated. They are driven and they have been putting in the work. They just got home from a long ruling training camp. I don't even need anything. You guys know how much I love and respect these guys and to see the whole family right here. So this is, this is great for me to just sit here. And I want to introduce these guys. Of course, we all know Jerry Jones Jr. Jerry. Charlotte Jones. The queen of it all. The most beautiful thing in the world. Come on. Miss Jean Jones, <laughs> and, 
in the man who put it all together and guided it all for the past 33 years, Mr. Jerry Jones. Uh, Pinch me now, I've died and gone to heaven. All yes. right, buddy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Jerry, and it has been so great. And you talk about those young guys out here getting a chance to watch Zeke and, and all those guys in practice. Tell me about some of the young guys you got on the team that's going to make out a break, to have a breakout season this season. Well, I know this, and I don't want to leave out anyone. Right. Uh, but I will tell you this, this team has never counted on uh, the people and the players that we drafted over the last two years more than we do right now. Right. And I'm proud to tell you that we have done as great a job of having the right kind of players. Not just the right kind of players, but the right kind of people. And we've got a lot of competition back here. But we've got some guys in here that uh, have really been down in the weeds, as old Jason Whitten used to say, down in the dirt. And they've been in that dirt. And we're talking about Tyler, a guy like Tyler Smith. We're talking about guys that uh, over on that defensive side of the ball that uh, we've got to have come in there and really uh, contribute this year. What's more important is the guys that we got here last year, our second year guys. You talking about showing out, we've had some great play by those interior linemen in there. I have to point them out. But the guys that have got it on them are young offensive linemen. We've got men, young men, that are really dedicated. Their coaches believe in them. We believe in them. They're going to take up this slack while Tyron's gone. And that's all I need to hear. I needed to hear that because I was going there next. Give us some comfort about us moving forward with Tyron Smith being out. But you just gave us that, and I appreciate that. You say these young guys are ready and ready to step up for the challenge. When I watch practice now and I watch – Diggs and all of those guys jabbing and going at it. You need that if you're going to be great. Everybody has to push everybody every single day. And, 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 and we're getting that out of these guys. I was sitting with Michael. We were in the Coliseum. And it was preseason. And Dak was a freshman. I mean, a fr he was oh, a yeah, rookie. first year yes, rookie. Right. rookie. Right. Yes. And uh, he'd been taking some snaps. And uh, but working, but taking some snaps. We lost Tony Romo against Seattle in preseason. Lost him in Seattle against right. Seattle. Tony, I'm sitting there with Michael, and that Dak steps back, rolls to the right, I think a little bit, and he takes that ball down and does a back shoulder pass, and it's about 40 yards in Beautiful. the air, and he makes that play. And I'm sitting there looking at him, and Michael's there, and I reach over at Michael, and I'm saying. Did you see that? Did you, did you see that pass? Did you see that, Michael? Michael says, no, I didn't. I said, what? He said, I'm watching that sideline. Yeah. And he said, Jerry, that 80-man sideline is 20 feet out on that field going crazy, supporting that. Right. You got yourself a quarterback, man. Right, absolutely. They'll follow him. Oh, thank you. You're right. Thank you, buddy. And, 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 we, and, and, and we need it, hope. I don't know if you guys remember that. That was the season we've had all those backup quarterbacks, and oof, we didn't want to go through that anymore. We needed hope, and he gave everybody hope. So that's, that's what I love more than anything. Now, now, I know for a fact that when a player becomes part of the Dallas Cowboys, he quickly developed an appreciation for those who have come before him, especially if you end up wearing the same number. Like my Pro Football Hall of Famer, Cowboy Great, in the original 88, Mr. Drew Pearson. Thank you, thank you. CD? We see you living up to the double A. Tut tut. All right. You know, becoming a Dallas Cowboy or even joining the starting lineup is no easy feat. The Earned a Star Award is presented to the Dallas Cowboy player who defied the odds to make the roster or even eventually the starting lineup. This evening's winner did just that. His resilience to earn the respect his teammates and coaches eventually earned him.
that coveted Blue Star on his helmet and a seat tonight on the stage. He went undrafted as a rookie from Texas Tech, and I know about that. Starting most of his rookie year and then filled in all over the offensive line when needed in 2021. He's also the first offensive lineman to score a touchdown in a game since the 1960s. <laughs> and we know he'll have a big part and play a big part in the offensive line in 2022. The 2022 Earned a Star Award goes to none other than the great number 78, Terrence Steele. award means you know the world to me uh, coming in just that first year you know I didn't really know what to expect I uh, just controlled the two things I could just my attitude and effort and uh, I'm just blessed to be here today uh, just want a special you know shout out to my teammates and my coaches for uh, just pushing me to be, to be the best person I can be so thank you hey going yeah where we going to the top yeah 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 y'all ready Thank you. This next Cowboy Honor is the Playmaker Award, something I might know just a tad bit about. Our 2022 Playmaker Award honoree, presented by Blockchain.com, came to the Cowboys as like a hungry lion. He has won all the awards after only one year, the unanimous Defensive Rookie of the Year, and even earned votes for the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. He led our boys with 13 and a half sacks, shattering the franchise rookie record. He was a first team all pro, and despite being a rookie, the first Cowboy defender to start in a Pro Bowl. I am honored to pass the Playmaker ball to the 2022 Dallas Cowboys Playmaker of the Year, yep. Michael Parsons. Um, thank you. Um, I like to thank all my teammates and coaches. Um, I think every day Coach Q tried to push me to the best way possible, even though I was probably being stubborn, even to the D-line room, welcomed me, um, really molded me to the player I am today, helped me, even though I was a young rook. But I think uh, everyone on his team was involved in this award and every, all my success my rookie year. Um, I don't think it was just me. So thank you to all you toughies. And uh, I appreciate you guys, and I love you guys for supporting me. Right here, at this peak of the mountain, it's time to take the lead by storm. Dominate on three, one, two, three. Dominate. Intercepted by Jordan Lewis, down the sideline and into the end zone. A sack coming right up the middle by Neville Gallimore. I am fired up about that defense because we got everything. I love we got people that can get to the quarterback. 
Al Harris right there, man. That's a bad boy. And he's teaching bad boys like Diggs how to go get that quarterback. I know I see it when I'm watching him. I see that Al Harris play. I know how he plays going after that football. And it's exactly the same. You know, I was just doing an interview the other day with Vaughn Miller. And he was telling me about him moving around for the NFL Network, going to L.A., and, of course, going now to Buffalo. He said, everywhere I go, all I do is take what DeMarcus Ware gave me. DeMarcus Ware has a big influence on this generation of players. He, has been, he, he was a, 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 a great defensive player that wrecked havoc for the Dallas Cowboys from 2005 to 2013. I want you guys to show some big love for this great man, DeMarcus Ware. Hey, y'all, let's give it up for the defense. There we go. I got a good opportunity to uh, interview some amazing players here. Micah Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, and uh, Trayvon Diggs. I'm going to start everything off and just say 13 sacks last year. <laughs> Talking to you before we got here, you said, I feel good. This is the best I've ever felt. Now, we're talking about if you're playing linebacker, if you're playing, you're a pass rusher, but guess what? You're feeling comfortable. What do you feel comfortable with? If I said you're a linebacker or a pass rusher, what would you say? I'm a football player. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. And a running back. Okay. All right. <laughs> and a DB. Yes. Uh, I play nickel, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Move, moving on down the line. Clean, you know, cut your hair, looking lean. And I keep reading about this new look. Talk to me about this new mindset. Yeah, man, uh, just trying to be like you in your prime, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, turning the age of 30, uh, I felt like it was a different change for me, so I wanted to implement it with cutting the hair and see how I can grow from it. Oh, I, and I feel you on that. Like, as we get older, when, you know, moving from team, being released, or whatever it is, you want to be that guy, right? So now, with you being a captain, you got a supporting cast. You got Micah Parsons. You got Trayvon Diggs. You got Vanders. I mean, I can name a whole bunch of dudes look like they're ready to run through the wall for you. What do we got to look for this season with that seal on your chest leading us into the playoffs? Oh, man, uh, you know, just a pack of wolves ready to hunt. Um, you know, being able to have a pack of guys. <laughs> my boys say lions, so my bad. So a uh, pack of lions, Sorry, you know. Uh, it's a part of lions. Being able to have those guys um, with that type of talent and, and style of play that, you know, is full of speed, uh, I, I feel like we're headed in the right direction and, you know, we're ready for war. Moving on to Trayvon, as I look in here, there's so much history. You tied Everson Walls, who is right over there for the interception record. What does that mean to you? Um, <clears throat> it means a lot, because, you know, just all the hard work that, you know, I try to put in, you know, just Al Harris is working with me every day and, you know, just being able to show it on the field, you know, we preach ball, 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 and just being able to do it on the highest level, on the highest level, it just means a lot. I'm really impressed with what I see. I see like they're quiet, they're patient, they really want this. So, you know, thank you guys for that. Micah, I know that you and Trayvon, y'all are very competitive. Y'all see, I have it in, y'all have it in your blood but it's starting to whisper that you two might not know where to stop. What is up with that? He even said sacks is harder to get the interception. No. Can you instant replay that? No. Can we do it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The booth is in the review right now. The booth is Sore in. Poor loser. That did not touch the water. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I never heard of that again. Oh, man. See, 
Cheetahs never win. Through the years, the Dallas Cowboys have continued to harness the winning visibility, energy, and celebrity of the Blue Star to champion causes dedicated to improving the lives of those in the community who need it most. We are back at halftime at AT&T Stadium where the tradition of giving only grows stronger on Thanksgiving Day. Celebrating a 25-year tradition, the Dallas Cowboys and the Gene and Jerry Jones family invite you to keep hope marching on. When you give, the Salvation Army continues doing the most good. The goal of Happy Hill Farm Academy is to educate the whole school. Education is more than academics. It includes the mind, body, and spirit. Today, America's team will honor America's heroes. Deep down, we all share the same values. Share the same values of the importance of courage and sacrifice for each other. There are things that bring us together. This is one of them. Here to present the Beyond the Gridiron Award presented by United Healthcare. I told you guys about that competition in practice. This dude, well, we competed every day, all day in practice. This dude will soon be in the Hall of Fame where he deserves to be. Please welcome Cowboy great Darren Woodson. You learn quickly around here that a fundamental characteristic of being part of the Dallas Cowboys is being a difference maker, both on and off the field. It's expected. Some of my favorite Cowboy memories were the time spent serving those who need it most. The Beyond the Gridiron Award is about making a difference in the community. This year's honoree is the definition of that description. Raised by a single mother propelled him to offer countless acts of kindness to single moms from groceries to bills to even a new car. After his mother passed in 2013 from colon cancer, in her honor, he established his foundation and named it the Faith Fight Finish Foundation because those three words of encouragement his mother left him, his foundation work also honors his brother, Jace, who lost his life to suicide in 2020. The Faith Fight Finish Foundation focuses on four main initiatives, colon cancer research, mental health and suicide prevention, bridging the gap between law enforcement, youth, and the communities they serve, and offering assistance to those facing life's challenging hardships. He is always a strong advocate for what he believes in and how he can help. He writes, ask for help on his taped wrist to promote the importance of seeking help when facing mental health issues. He was the Cowboys 2021 nominee for the NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. I am honored to present the Beyond the Gridiron Award to my friend and your Dallas Cowboys quarterback and just an absolutely great man, number four, Dak Prescott. Give that arm a relief here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, honestly, it's always um, an honor to receive an award, but it's a little bit more special when it means something off the field. Uh, for my work in the community, this award is shared with the village that raised me, my mom, my brother that you just heard about, and my Faith Fight Finish Foundation who works tirelessly behind the scenes to make all of my wishes and hopes for the community to come true. So I thank each and every one of you for this award. I thank my teammates, my coaches, for making the workplace and the locker room a safe haven for me that gives me the energy to go out and to do more in the community and to be my best and to spread love, hope, and just um, lend a helping hand in need. So I challenge each and every one of you to do that in your community, to do that with your families, to do that in your lives. And I challenge my teammates, each and every one of you, to give me a run for my money for this award next year. So God bless and thank you.
the spirit competition, we talked about this. This next dude, I'm going to tell you, taught me so much about how to play football in the NFL. My first year I came in, I remember telling everybody, I'm so good, I'd catch a BB in the dark, turn out the lights and shoot a BB gun, right? And then I got to practice, and this dude was eating me up. I was like, oh my God, what's happening? I went back to the drawing board to get better. But this next dude, from the time he joined the team as an undrafted player, he immediately broke through. Here to present the Breakthrough Player Award, Cowboys great, and my teacher, Mr. Everson Walls. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Nice MC jacket you got on there, buddy. You look good. You can unbutton it now. I don't think you can breathe that well. <laughs> this year's Breakthrough Player honoree had only three interceptions as a rookie in 2020. In his amazing second season, he catapulted into NFL superstardom seemingly overnight by tying my 1981 mark of 11. That is what the Breakthrough Player Award presented by Invisalign is all about. <laughs> that hard work earned him all pro and pro bowl honors. He was the first player in the NFL history, well, since my favorite season 40 years ago, to record more than 10 picks in a season. That is why it is my honor to present the 2022 Dallas Cowboys Breakthrough Award to Mr. Trayvon Diggs. Come on, Trayvon, where are you, buddy? There you go, thank you. Uh, just want to say thank you. Thank you to all my coaches. Thank you to my teammates. Uh, special thanks to Al Harris for just working with me every day, being in my corner, being my support system. Um, <laughs> Appreciate Dak for always, you know, giving me a run for my money in practice. You know, I appreciate all the receivers and, you know, thank you. And this award means a lot to me and I just want to continue and let's go. Let's get a Super Bowl. This past year, our Cowboys family lost some of our most cherished and long-standing members of the Dallas Cowboys organization. This evening, we want to acknowledge those precious lives who made our lives better and whose passion, love, and impact on the star will never be forgotten.
Rest in paradise, our cowboy family. Clearly, this organization has been built on some pretty special people. And this next presenter is undeniably in a league of his own. He's earned the team's 2021 Good Guy Award as voted on by local chapters of Professional Football Writers of America. The award honors a player for his consistent and outstanding cooperation with the team's beat writer. Here to present the Right Way Player's Choice Award. Give it up for Michael Parsons. The Right Way Players' Choice Award is presented to a member of the media voted on by the players. From the questions they ask, the way they report the news, to the storytelling, this, reporter's, this reporter does it the right way. The award honors journalistic integrity, dedication, knowledge of the team, and fairness, and the ability to cover the beat. This year's recipient, recipient is a sports reporter for USA Today, primarily covering the Dallas Cowboys and NFL. She worked previously for the Dallas Morning News and Sports Illustrated. She's also a graduate in the University of Texas. It is my honor to present the 2022 Right Way Players Choice Award to Jory Epstein. Thank you, Micah, and thank you to all the players, coaches, staff, fellow beat writers, and members of the Jones family for the trust, access, and camaraderie. Um, I often tell people I like sports, but I love telling people stories, and I've loved reporting on the Cowboys for the last six years because of the people who work here, whether it's Dak transforming his, ver his adversity into a source of strength, Micah teaching us about Eagles and Lions, or John Fossil bringing more enthusiasm to special teams than I thought possible. It is a joy to learn from y'all and to teach fans um, what you do, but even more, who you are. And we can't do that without your trust and authenticity. So thank you, and when y'all are ready to write your books, you know who to call. Center, hook screen left to Lamb, made a man miss. Stiff arm, 30, Zeke, rolling left, pumps, runs to the goal line, and is pushed in for the touchdown. But right now, I want to sit and talk with these three triplets. <laughs> So as things change, they always seem to remain the same. You know, a lot of the pressure falls on the top three guys on this offense. Quarterback Dak Prescott, running back Ezekiel Elliott, and wide receiver C.D. Lamb. Dak, let me start with you, buddy. Talk to me, man. I, 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 I know this defense is it, it, a good defense. What has it been like going up against this defense, and how is that getting you guys ready? for the season? Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, obviously, it's iron sharpens iron. Um, they're tough. They're tough to go against. Obviously, when you got the two guys over there to the left, Mike and D-Law getting after it with their crew, the D-line, uh, and then a tough secondary, and it's tough. It's tough, but it's making us better each and every day, so we go out there, we enjoy the competition, and uh, we're getting better, and we're going to be ready for game one. You know, Zeke, this thing still, I don't care what anybody says, this thing still goes through you. You know, you started out last year, man, and you started out playing great. I know you fought through some injuries because that's the kind of dude you are to fight for your team. Was there anything that you did in the offseason to try to make sure that you uh, make it through this whole season because it all starts with you still? Um, you know, just, just getting, getting, getting back in the gym and, and uh, you know, getting a knee right, you know, making sure that I get it back to 100%. Uh, you know, before the season, and you know, I started feeling pretty good right before OTAs, and and uh, really probably haven't uh, you know felt felt better since then. Yeah, makes a pass. Let me ask you something. We lose Tyron Smith. How, how is it that how could you help kind of alleviate some of the issues when you lose a talented guy like Tyron Smith? 
Yeah, I mean, you talk about Tyron Smith, that's not a guy that you can replace overnight. I think everybody understands that in this organization. Everybody understands that on this team. But it's about the next man up mentality. And it's all a cliche until it happens. Uh, but seven years ago, it was me. So right now, whoever it may be that needs to step up in that spot, they've just got to know that this team, this 53, this coaching staff, uh, this organization, the fans, everybody support them. They expect them to go in there and do their job. And they believe in them. And uh, we're all behind them. So uh, next man up, and he'll, we'll make sure that they're ready. See, the last question, man, you know, I, I, I've been on TV calling for you. I said, I need 1,600 yards out of him. I'm going to just tell you where it came from. You know, in 95, when Alvin Harper, we lost Alvin Harper, and, and Jerry and Emmett was over there in a bit of a little sump sub. I had to step on the field and said my mentality was I need to put 100 yards up every game to give us a chance to win. I say I believe you're going to have to come very close to putting 100 yards up every game in order for this team to do what it has to do. Have you ever had that kind of mentality? Or, or, or how much do you think about those kinds of things? I've always had that mentality. As soon as I came in the league, I always wanted, you know, 100 yards a game and maybe a touchdown, you know, if I'm lucky enough. So, like, just going in now with that mentality, like I said, ain't nothing changed. It's just time to go to work. Well, guys, guys, I'm telling you something. We'll go as you go. I appreciate all the work you guys have been putting in, man. Good luck this season. Let's do what we did last year. <laughs> No doubt tonight's gathering is historic because in the 60 plus year history of this franchise, never, never have there been a night to kick off this season quite like this. It's pretty great, right? <laughs> the, feeling, the feeling of tradition and history that accompanies the blue star on the helmet is tangible and it's incredibly powerful. From the first day on the job to your name being etched in the ring of honor, the foundation of the Blue Star success is a collection of men who have shaped this franchise. And at the top is Captain Comeback. Please welcome Roger Staubach. Together, it is our honor to recognize one of the greatest players in Cowboy history with the Tom Landry Legend Award for his effort on and off the field. <laughs> Ironically enough, our honoree, honoree's greatness was put on display last season by the effort of Trayvon Diggs, who tied his standing 40-year record with 11 interceptions. However, he will still point out that he has the Cowboys in the NFL record for most interceptions in a season as a rookie. <laughs> Currently a senior finalist for the 2023 Pro Football Hall of Fame, the 2022 Tom Landry Award goes to Everson Walls. Thank you guys for your patience this evening. I know you're ready to go home. I just want to talk about Tom Landry for just a little bit and what this represents. This, this trophy represents uh, no nonsense. It represents no excuses and result-oriented football team. That's what we had back then. And we also didn't pay that well either. 
So I'm just glad that I was able to earn this award uh, for all the things, not just, not just on the field, but uh, things I did off the field. And of course, i will be remiss if I didn't bring up my buddy Ron Springs, the, the late, great Ron Springs, who did so much for the Dallas Cowboys, one of the best fullbacks Dallas Cowboys ever had. So this is for him. Thank you. Cowboys Nation, your head coach, Mike McCarthy. I feel like I'm up here for uh, rookie karaoke right now. You think? No? Okay. Uh, first off, I, I do want to recognize all the award winners. What, what, a great, what a great night. And I think more importantly, I love the way they recognize their teammates and their coaches. Al, how about Al? I'd like to recognize uh, blockchain.com, our partners, for making this event. And uh, what, what a great event. We didn't know what to expect, but what a great event tonight. I know the players really, really enjoyed it. And more importantly, I'd like to take this time to you know, talk about our coaching staff. My wife, Jessica, I want to recognize you. Yeah. I want to recognize our defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, his lovely wife, Stacy, and the great job. And I just want to say this about Dan. Um, you can work decades in this league and not work with a finer man. And if anybody tells you otherwise, run away. So, Dan, thank you for being here. So, <laughs> Julie and Kellen Moore, just, a, just I can't say enough about Kellen. What a fine, young, creative, bright offensive mind and obviously going into his fourth year. So, Kellen, everything he does. And you've heard about John Fossil's energy and all the cup of coffees that he drinks and Elizabeth and our special teams coordinator, John Fossil. So. I'd like at this time for our coaches and their wives, please stand up and be recognized. This is our coaching staff. If you can, if you can recognize them, please. So. Ladies, you look beautiful tonight. It's amazing what we do as coaches to get a free night out with our wives. So, once again, it's uh, great to have everybody, everybody here. And there's our badass strength and conditioning coaching staff right there. Stand up, Harold, can you please? Um, so. But I want to recognize Will McClay, uh, just been a tremendous partner in, the, in the, the personnel journey that we've been on with all these fine, fine players. And, and I'd like to ask his staff to please Please stand up and be recognized. Personnel department. Thank you. I would like to recognize the Jones family. I mean, you, you think about uh, what, what, what's been created here with the Dallas Cowboys, but I know it's close to my heart. You talk about a family first culture. They, they emulate that to the tenfold. So thank you for everything you do for us and give us the opportunity to go win. So each and every day. And lastly, I just want to say this to the fans. I mean, it's, it's been an incredible, incredible uh, training camp. We've been, we've been going at this since April 19th, and uh, every one of these men are, are fully committed. It's going to be a very difficult uh, day on Tuesday when we have to make those, those tough decisions. But everything we do is about winning. Everything we do is about winning the next world championship here in Dallas. So thank you for everything that you do. And, if you'd have been at eight, if you'd have been out in LA this past Saturday and seen the fan support, to me it just it's nonstop. And thank you for that. So give yourselves a hand, please. And lastly, I think we need to give Michael Irvin a hand because you know, number one, he stole my suit coat, but you know, but uh, he, he's done it. He's done it. He's done an incredible job tonight. So let's give Michael some love. So. Guys, that's it for tonight, guys. Are we excited about this season? Do we believe that this is our year? Yeah. We're going to have to keep that same intensity the whole year when you walk in the AT&T Stadium. Make sure you ride high and make sure you're allowed to help our boys do what they have to do. Thank you guys for coming out. Let's go and have a great season tonight.
Just ask.